my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salon Consulting and this is the second video in my series Delve into FileMaker 12. Now I'm going to keep talking about interface just like I did in the first video, but here I'm going to focus on object states and more specifically this video is focusing on the states for a given field. Now let's dive right into the database. So here's the, here's the scenario. I'm a photographer and I want to track all the events that I need to photograph. I want to know the schedule. So for example, these expos and weddings tend to have a lot of things that need to happen. So it helps me keep track of where I need to be and when. I also have the ability to track my gear. So what equipment I own. So my cameras, my lenses and so on. And then what tasks I need to complete. So do I need to buy something? Do I need to rent something or return something? Do I need to charge my batteries? Whatever it may be. Now speaking specifically about the fields, here you'll notice that when I click inside of a field, FileMaker 12 gives us the nice blue border to tell us that's the field that we're in. And as I move through these fields, that border changes with the active field. In FileMaker 11 and before, we used field frames to help tell the user what field they were in and that there were other fields on the layout. But in this case, we aren't using the field frames. And I think it's because we've, we've put so much work into the interface that we don't need to show the field frame. Specifically, this theme does a great job of showing us fields when we need to see them. So you'll notice that when I hover over these itinerary fields, I see a border, but I don't see that field frame even though I'm in a, in a field in this record. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on the field frames just to show you what that looks like. And again, I think it looks very different than it did in previous versions because here I think it looks almost crowding. I've put so much work into cr making this layout look beautiful and aligning the fields and the, the theme gives me you know just the right color combinations, but now to have these gray lines everywhere kind of takes away from that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So I could be wrong, but I have a feeling that uh, I have a feeling that field frames will go away pretty quickly in, in FileMaker. Now let's talk about the different states that we can have for a field. Now normal state is what we're used to dealing with, which is just what it looks like on the layout. In focus is when that is the active field. Hover is when you're hovering over the field with your mouse and then pressed is when you go to click a button and you hold down the mouse button or hold down the touchpad. So how do I think this will be used? Well I think one of the places where it's where it seems to fit the best is to do, have, it has to do with hovering. So when I hover over a field I want the field color to be a very soft yellow. I'm gonna jump into browse mode and you'll see that if I hover over these fields, the color changes to that yellow that we selected. So the state is changing. This is really nice because from a user's perspective, it just makes it more obvious that something needs to happen. Now let me, I'm going to click on this event ID field just so that I can show you the different states. So normal state is set to a white background or a white fill and a gray line. In focus has this blue line, but let's go ahead and give it a green color. And then if I click over to hover, we already have the yellow. And when I click on pressed, I'm going to change that to this purple color. Now again, I don't recommend using all these colors on your fields. Really, this is just so that it, it becomes obvious what the different states are. So I'm hovering, so I get a yellow. If I click and hold, just so that we can see it a little longer, you'll see that the color changes to purple. And once I'm actually in that field, you'll see that it turns into the green. Then I click outside and we're back to the normal state. So that's really how that works. Now where I like this the best is actually down in the itinerary section, where again I can hover over the fields and I only see the field I only see the field that I'm hovering over, which means that I get the line, but only at the right time. Again, just like having the field frames, it was a bit overwhelming in that I saw these lines all the time. But here, I'm very, it's very selective and it keeps for a really clean user interface. I'm going to jump back into layout mode. I'm going to choose these fields and I actually want to remove all of those fills and that I added to the different states. Up in this section over here on the inspector, you'll see that there's a button 
that's a square with a kind of a blue box inside and it's going to apply the theme style to these objects so what that means it's basically defaulting to whatever the ocean theme uh, was set to so I'm going to click on that button and when I go into browse mode you'll notice that my hover is gone and when I click and when I'm in the field or the field is in focus, you'll see that we're back to just the white uh, background for the field. So that's an example of where I think we can use these different um, states to, see, to help the user know what's going on. Another example would be in a list view. What I really like about this setting, and it's the default setting, is that the the states only apply to fields for the selected record. So this little black bar over here tells me what record I'm on. I'm on this first record. But when I move down to bridal, the white background jumps to that record and goes away from the initial record. Well, it's actually a setting. And I could see that there would be cases where you'd want to see the white background or, or specific settings across all of the records in list view. So I just want to show you where that setting is. Jumping into layout mode, I'm going to go into the field, uh, sorry, into the layout database, and you'll see that right here we have delineate fields on current record only. So that means that the field states are only obvious for the record that you're standing on. So if I turn that off and jump into browse mode, you'll see that every record will have that uh, that line around it, or and it will have the white fill as well. So I could see that being used both ways. I think more commonly it will be checked on so that only the selected record shows up. And of course it depends on whether you're even allowing data entry in list view anyway. So those are just a few ways to use uh, states in fields. Again, I think that it's important to think about interface being really important as making it easier for the user, more intuitive, and, and just something that the user wants to use. So uh, if we can keep improving that, I think we keep really raising the bar in our solutions. Now in my next video, I will be talking about states in buttons and how that can help the user. So uh, please watch that one and thanks for watching.